Quick recap of the week, and we begin with the Pope. The only person on Earth who can pull off a white cape, Gwyneth. <laughs> He's the only one. You look like a photo negative of Darth Vader. <laughs> anyway, the Pope was in the United States this week, speaking before Congress, visiting the UN, riding through Central Park, going to Philly for no clear reason, <laughs> and, and encountering adoring crowds everywhere. Thousands greeted Pope Francis as he arrived in New York yesterday afternoon, lining the roadways through Manhattan, waving flags and banners, raising their cell phones for a picture. Yes, everywhere he went, it seems people in America wanted to show the Pope their new iPhones. <laughs> look! Look! Look, Holy Father! It's the iPhone 6S! I've got it! It comes in rose gold and it has an A9 chip! The, the iPhone 6 only had an A8 chip, Your Holiness! Please, touch my phone so the battery may have everlasting life! Please! Please! This... This was a truly historic trip for the Pope, not least because he was directly responsible for a miracle. Just watch how his arrival was reported on MSNBC. And good day, I'm Brian Williams at MSNBC headquarters here in New York. Holy shit, he brought Brian Williams back from the dead! Oh my... It's a miracle! Although, you know what? I will say, hearing Brian Williams report something now is like reading about it in the New Testament. I, I believe a man named Pope Francis exists, but a lot of the details were probably embellished. And, and for, for a man who has been off the air for so long, he spent a long time obsessing over one particular detail. The magic of that, that face and that smile and his touch. His sense of touch, the power of his touch, the yearning to touch him, this very tactile Pope, tactile Pope. Her lips said, I love you, when she met the Pope. So tactile. I think... I think Brian Williams wants to pet the Pope. I think he does. There is no doubt the Pope seems to inspire strange and powerful reactions wherever he goes, but the strangest one this week may have come from Congressman Bob Brady. The Democrat watched as the Pope addressed the joint session of Congress Thursday and then proceeded to take his unfinished glass of water once the pontiff left the chamber. He took a sip before carrying the glass back to his office. He plans on blessing his grandchildren with the rest of the water. <laughs> He drank the Pope's water. I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm pretty sure that is not part of the Catholic faith. For the record, that is not holy water that you're slurping down and pouring over your grandchildren. It is the backwash from an old Argentinian man.